Okay, this one says graphing an exponential function and its asymptote. So we have two things to consider. <clears throat> it does want us to plot two points on the graph and draw its asymptote. should have the x value three and then a number bigger than that, so four, okay? And I always just go one number bigger. So that will give me my two points once I plug those into the function and I'll be able to get it. This number out here is gonna tell you where the horizontal asymptote is. Since that's a positive four, that means my horizontal asymptote is at y equals four. So when I go to draw this, I already know that at one, two, three, four, I'm going to have a horizontal asymptote. Now it's just a matter of me finding the coordinates that I need and then plugging them in there. So if I go in my calculator and I click um, 2e to the 3 minus 3 plus 4 I get six. And actually I should do this by hand because you're gonna have to plot the point and you're not allowed to put decimals. You have to have the exact answer. So if I plug in three, I get two e to the zero plus four, which is the same as saying two times one plus four, which is where the six came from. Two times one is two plus four is six. Now for the other one, it's 2e to the 4 minus 3 plus 4. Here I get 2e to the 1 plus 4, or 2e plus 4. I can't simplify that any further without getting a decimal point, okay? Um, so you have to leave it just like that. So in the computer, you click on the point icon, and then you'll literally type this in exactly like that and it will automatically know where that point will go. So it will know that this is about 9.4 and it'll plot that for you. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So at one, two, three, we've got four, five, six, and then at four, we have 9.4. And so then the graph will look like this, okay? So it will draw it for you. You just need those two points. So there's a lot going on here, right? You have to think about what X values are you gonna use in your chart, and that comes from the exponent. So one and then two. And then you have to also think about your horizontal asymptote. And so this one is going to be at Y equals negative one because it's a negative one. And then you have to even fill out the chart manually. So one third e to the one minus one is one third e to the zero, which is one third times one, one third minus one, is negative two thirds. And so that you can put in the computer. And then one third e to the two minus one. So you get one third e to the one. So it just looks like one third e minus one, <clears throat> excuse me. And so the computer will automatically know that's about negative 0 0.09. So when you graph it, your horizontal asymptote is now at negative one. And at one, you're at negative two thirds, which is about negative 0.6. And then at two, you're at negative 0 0.09, which is right there. So then this is looking like this, getting real close to that, that value over there, okay? And so again, it'll graph it for you. All you need to know is <clears throat> use that button to plot the exact points, and then click on the asymptote, place the asymptote where it needs to be, and then click on the graph of function icon.